while much of the town of Missouri Valley is okay. The houses in this area, south of the train tracks, took in several feet of water, destroying homes like the one behind me. So we thought we were okay this time. It always goes out somewhere else, but it didn't this time. Rhonda Mosseth left her home of 35 years behind last Wednesday when it became apparent the floodwaters would get to her house. She came back Sunday to devastation. It just told everything. It Everything's mud and it's just ruined. Now she's left picking up the pieces of her most precious items. I lost my dad's Bible. You just, you can't replace that stuff. Down the road, this entire storage facility took in more than two feet of water. Rose Phillips had a house worth of stuff inside her unit after moving into an RV last year. She now has to toss items worth thousands of dollars. Kind of a struggling person, you know, a struggling veteran making it from month to month. But like Rhonda, her mind is on the personal items she can never get back. Those are my mom's pictures. I grew up my entire life looking at these pictures Daydreaming about the perfect life was in those pictures and losing those pictures. Are, it's going to be the one thing that Halloween pictures breaks my heart, losing pictures like this. Many in Missouri Valley are wondering what they'll do next. After living here her whole life, Rhonda is now looking to move on. We're going to leave. I can't, I can't live here. I can't do this again next year. Now Rhonda also tells me that her son lives several blocks away and his house was completely totaled by the flood as well. Both of them headed to a family's house in Council Bluffs where 18 people were staying during the flood. In Missouri Valley, John Kipper, 3 News Now. Your heart just aches for so many people.